16th marks the ending of slavery in the United States, first recognized as a national holiday just last year. So this year there are a lot of activities planned here in the bluegrass and throughout the country. Tyler Melito joins us in studio with a recap of an event this evening in Nicholasville celebrating the holiday. Marvin and Amani, good evening. At this evening's Juneteenth event in Nicholasville, although organizers wanted everyone to have fun and to be entertained, there were two primary goals for people in attendance. One, engage with the community, and two, to learn something. That's the key thing for tonight is education. That's the main thing is education, amen? It's not just about being educated on Juneteenth about Juneteenth. It's just being educated, period. For community leaders like Anna Kenyon, why put an emphasis on education? Well, one of the things is that I definitely want to highlight is the achievement gap of our African-American students here in Jessamine County uh, with their peers. It's not, the statistics are not very, they're not good at all. And so we have an organization called CARE, who is the liaison between the school district and the community. And then, as you see, there's a uh, uh, a lot of books, free books that are given. So they get educated by reading and keeping that re uh, educational retention over the summer. Teaching people, particularly children, about Juneteenth is one thing, but getting everyone together and making it fun takes a different type of passion. This all together was uh, a, a joy, you know, because I have a, a passion for uh, bringing people together within the community. So uh, I'm a uh, woman of faith and so God opened up the door so easily people came to me and I knew connections and so it was just uh, a smooth coordination for Kenyon the message she wants people to take away from Juneteenth is not so much even just the past the the my goal is for them to take the past to live it in the present and to also make something happen for the future. So I don't want them to just stay stuck on what happened on June 19th. I want them to learn about what it meant, but also how do you play a role in your personal life uh, and make a difference in your community. It was an awesome event, so if you're thinking, darn, I missed out, don't worry. There are other Juneteenth events throughout the weekend across the bluegrass. We have that coverage for you during Fox 56 News at 10 on Saturday and Sunday, as well as on our website at fox56news.com. I'm Tyler Molito, Fox 56 News.